Hi everyone. Um, we have come to that time of the semester where we are talking about our first major essay. And essays make up the bulk of, of your grade, so I think it's pretty important to kind of uh, go through um, what I expect and you know what you can do and, and what the prompt is and all that kind of thing. So um, there is um, a, a general kind of overview here of, of expectations. Um, this For this particular essay though, you do not need secondary sources. Um, your next two essays will, but this one does not. Um, what I mean by secondary sources, I mean outside um, research. Anything other than the text. Um, of course, you have to use your primary source of, of the text, but no other sources outside of, of the text. So, um, however, should you choose to use them, they also need to be appropriately documented in your works cited page. Um, this essay should be about three and a half to four pages long, not including the works cited page. Um, and I have given you a prompt here um, with uh, some kind of, of uh, it's they're they're very it's a very open-ended prompt but um, please choose from one of these six stories um, and what I'd like for you to do once you've chosen your story that you would like to write your literary analysis on um, you can choose one of these prompts and I don't want to um, belabor the issue but um, or you know bore you guys to tears by reading through um, each of these um, prompts because you, you can do that. But uh, basically, uh, they address one of the uh, literary elements of the short story um, that you can analyze and pick apart. So um, symbol, character, setting, point of view, or you can compare and contrast um, any of these two stories um, if you choose. Um, I have down here something else, um, and that is if you have a topic of your own devising that you'd like to explore, or if you would like to build on something that you've already um, written about in a discussion board post, you're free to do that as well. In fact, I encourage you guys to go back through and look at what you've done in your discussion boards and um, try to use as, as much as you can because that's why I gave you so much um, feedback um, and really looked at them critically um, to, to kind of give you um, some some kind of guidance um, in not only to help you in the future with your discussion boards but also to kind of help you um, as you formulate your ideas for your essays so um, that's the prompt please let me know if you have any questions about that but um, you can choose any of these options um, but whichever one you choose um, I will be looking for a uh, an essay with a solid introduction with a clear, um, arguable thesis statement um, that is organized um, with topic sentences and organized essay, um, textual support with properly integrated quotes, analysis of the text through the textual evidence, and a so what, why does it matter, what is the significance, um, what does this suggest uh, about the author, the period, the culture, whatever you want to say. Um, properly documented essays with MLA citations, um, and that includes both um, intertextual citations and or works cited page. Um, um, there is a rubric here for, for you to look at, uh, but also I want to draw your attention to these little tabs here in the upper part. Um, and one is is a guideline. It's it's very very long, um, and but it's helpful should you choose to to look at it. Um, so it, it goes through each of the different components of of your essay. Um, and, and that kind of thing, helpful hints. But um, I know that this is overwhelming and I promise you, I'm not trying to overwhelm you. Um, you can take a look at this PowerPoint that I have created and I created it for my um, my 243 class, but the same um, concepts apply for this class, except instead of talking about the, the examples that I give here, um, you'll be talking about the examples from the short story. So I really encourage you guys to take an opportunity to look at this because it is helpful. It's kind of a crash course um, in um, 
literary analysis or certainly um, what I am looking for um, in your literary analysis. So if you have any questions about the essay, please do not hesitate to um, send me an email, send me, um, come to my office hours if you want to talk through a topic. I am, uh, uh, please, please come talk to me. Um, I can help you. Um, this is my favorite part of, of being um, an English teacher is helping you guys develop topics and, and talking to you about um, the things that you want to write about. So, especially in, in my literature classes. So, um, please, like I said, take an opportunity to check out these um, explanation uh, or kind of crash course of reminders about literary analysis. And um, uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy, happy, happy to um, help you out. Um, so that is it for your first essay, other than the fact that it is due on March, what did I have? March 14th. So you got two weeks um, to kind of come up with uh, your first essay. So uh, let me know again if you have any questions and um, I'm excited to see what you guys decide to write about.